people, 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 people. Keep us a sock for say what they do. Now, people, the first thing that is popping in the news, it is called breaking news, breaking news. Because, people, you understand that on this channel, we brought newsblogger.com. Now, based on the information, it is said that the Pope out there on the lookout for a man and his government name, Ricardo Richards, O-C-A-K-A, Kaka. And based on the information, it is said that this man was complaining of some sort of medical problem. And they took him from a penal institution and they took him to the National Chest Hospital that is in Kingston, St. Andrew. And it is that while he was there, he basically came out of the handcuff and basically disarmed the pauper, take him to and also corner the pauper. And he is now on the run. And also, based on the information, it is said that he is supposed to be armed on the compound of the National Chest Hospital in the possession of the fireman piece, of the pauper piece, sorry. Now, people, how many occasions have we seen men escaping from all sorts of penal institution? How many occasions have we seen man broke out of the pauper arms, basically when he was taking to some sort of medical facility? People, too often. Now, first thing first, had these pauper been following the protocol? Has these, had these pauper been paying attention, this would not have happened. And people, when I speak about protocol, I am speaking about handcuff, chain, we are talking about shackles on the foot, rete, lele, blue, blah, blah. However, people, we see that on too many occasions, a lot of these prisoners, they are taken to all sorts of medical facility. And they are not basically chained up properly. So therefore, no handcuff, therefore, no chain, therefore, no kind of shackle on the foot. And people, the truth and the fact is that if this man was like that, more than likely he would not have attempted However, in this case, we see him broke out of the handcuff and he disarmed the popo and he also cornered the popo. So now people may have to ask a question. Why isn't the penal system, the justice system in Jamaica adequately supplying these workers? Why are they giving them baskets to carry water? Because people, on too much occasions, we see that it is because of negligence and it is because of the irresponsible actions of these employees. We are speaking about the popo, we are talking about the security team, we are talking about the penal system, why this man basically got away. So people, more than likely, this man is going to be caught because based on the latest information that I got, it is said that he is on the compound of the National Chest Hospital, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source, and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel, and when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon, and also press all in the option. Now, people, the next thing that is popping in the news, and people, it is called, it happens again, it happened once more again. Now, people, do you realize that whenever anything occurs in Jamaica, there's always a succession. There's always a next person that is involved in the same type of thing. Now, the reason why I said that is that yesterday I uploaded a video and I spoke about a man that was basically begging for his life after his friends, after his family, after his cronies were taken out in a bedward garden. We are speaking about in the hills of Augustown. Now, people, in this case, we are speaking about three brothers whose names were implicated that they were a part of that crew. However, people, if you look at the name, all of these persons are named Hales and they are from Clarendon. However, they are in some sort of Caribbean island. So people, take a listen, take a look to exactly what they have to say after their names were plastered all over social media, specifically on YouTube. So people, listen to what they have to say and then I'll give my piece. My name is Nicholas Franklin they yeah, from 2017, never leave. I've seen some video going, going around on the media that I was in Jamaica and some kind of crap, some kind of sh thing. I wasn't. My name is Karen Kenny Hill. I'm from Jamaica, Kingston, Clarendon. I've been in Angola from, 2000, from 2017. I've seen some people going around on the internet saying that we guys are involved in 
I would add something like that. And I'm asking the press to please take it down. My name is Clive Williams. I was born December 17, 1991. I'm from Jamaica. Currently now in Angola. From 2017. Um, I've been hearing some allegations around the internet, YouTube, uh, etc. Saying that um, the people and all sorts of allegations, please I'm making it. Take it down first, please. Now people, based upon the voice notes, they say that they have been in Anguilla from 2017. This incident in Bedward Gardens happened less than 72 hours ago. So therefore, obviously, that would not have been them. And if you also look at the names, I think their names are Hales and they are from Clarendon. So them hail from Clarendon and they live in Anguilla. Some little island, some little place somewhere. Now, people, the truth and the fact is that as a blogger, I got information and I also got these person's picture. If you look on the screen, you will see it right here. However, when I looked at the picture, the first thing, the pictures, the first thing that came to mind, all of them name heels. So how comes when I got this information about the incident that occurred in Bedward's garden, Bedward Gardens, I did not hear that any sorts of brothers were involved. I did not hear that three persons out of the five had the same last name because people that would have made news. That would have been something that you would have noticed. However, like I said, when I got it, I got the information and I got the pictures of the other five persons. And here are some of the persons right here on the screen as you look. So my point in saying this is that sometimes as bloggers, we get information and the information is not accurate. Now, people, like I said, I cannot read anybody's mind and I don't think that any blogger has any sort of intention for basically defame a next person. However, sometimes we have to use some sort of common sense because the truth and the fact is that if you was thinking or if this person was thinking, he would have known that something sounds funny based upon the fact that everybody name heals or heals whatever them name is. So people, me just I say, as bloggers, we need to be careful because sometimes we get information even from the popo and that information is inaccurate. And when we make this and when we post this inaccurate information, you are basically defaming somebody's character. So I am just saying that we might be putting other persons' life in danger and them family in a danger with the popo and with the apps, point blank and period. So therefore, we have to be careful, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I said, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. So the next thing that is popping in the news is an update about an incident that occurred in a place called Bedward Gardens. I am speaking about in the hills of Augustown, maybe about 72 hours ago, three days ago. And it was an incident in which the Popo, the military team, JCF, JDF, they took out five members of the Berry Gang. And I am speaking about their leader, whose name is Speng, government name Colin Magnus, and also O'Neill Dixon. O.C., D.D., and also Jelani Palmer, and also Tafari Dell, Juni, and also Akeem McLeod, O.C. Tyler. Now, people, based on information, credible information that I have, it is said that the Popo had some sort of intelligence, and even better yet, the Popo had some sort of informer that was giving them information that there was some sort of headquarters of this very gang, and that there were all sorts of tools. We are talking about submachine, we are talking about rifle, we are talking about some pistol, rate, lele, blue, blah, blah. So, therefore, the Popo planned for them. Therefore, the Popo orchestrated. Therefore, the Popo put out an intricate plan and they caught everybody slipping and everybody was gone after the smoke clear. So, people, I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to some voice notes and then I'll give my piece. So I'm locked down the whole place and can't even go work. I to go to school because you're in a grade 6 and them do test. Them send us school now, keep them sending back, them now let nothing out of Augustown. I'm going to leave them there, man, in the bush, you know? It's sad. 
sport. To me, it's like an informal thing. Somebody informal, because all of the man them be gone up a hill. You understand? And it's like a sneak operation. Well, Mr. Bull. So people, like I said, a sneak operation like she said a sneak operation nobody coming in nobody going out so therefore they knew exactly what they were going for they knew exactly who they were going for and going to and going to take out and people like we see them implement it like a boss they basically took out any and everybody nobody was spared just the man that was balling in the video so people at the end of the day it shows you that people are frustrated with these gangsters these new millennial gangsters because the truth and the fact is that they are just like a plague they are just like a menace to society and they are not contributing because people the truth and the fact is that them brought themselves they can hardly buy any sorts of tool much less any sort of we are talking about pipe or any sorts of can so therefore if them can't take care of their own self and the truth and the facts that when you look at the way they were taken out, them basically D-E-A-D, -E like some dog in the street, you are talking about some broke gangster, point blank and pure. So people at the end of the day, like I said, persons are frustrated with what is going on in Jamaica. And even in the garrison, we see that the people that are always implementing this no snitch policy, they are now talking. So people, that is good for Jamaica. And like me say, happy redance, a next set of men bite the dust point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up